this chapter was a complete emotion mix for me because like 80% of it, I, I really wasn't digging. I'm just going to be honest. It's my job as a reviewer to tell you how I felt about the chapter. Now, Sasuke says, yet again, what we already know about the story that Hashirama told him, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, fuck this world. I'm going to remake it how I see fit. And blah, blah, blah. And Naruto says, what about Itachi? Itachi's in the past, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, shut the fuck up, Sasuke. Weren't we promised a fight like two chapters ago? And I just love how Kakashi says, Hagoromo, the, the god of all shinobi, is there anything we can do? And then Hagoromo puts on his shades and says, nope. No. I'm like, you're the god of shinobi, dude. Even though you're about to disappear or so you say, you can do something. I mean, take the power back from Sasuke's bipolar ass or something. I mean, come on. I'm going to go ahead and say the best part, the best part of this chapter had to be like the last two pages when we finally saw what Sasuke said to Hagoromo. He says, I have to kill Naruto no matter what. And when he finally acknowledges that Naruto was the closest thing that he's ever had to a best friend. That was a very emotional scene. I really enjoyed Sasuke, well, seeing Sasuke say that, and we finally see them clash at the end. Now, that's when the hype came back, because throughout this entire chapter, I guess I'm being impatient. I was flipping the page, like, come on, where's the fighting? Okay, Itachi this, you couldn't have done it by yourself, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, where the fuck? Why are they standing on top of their heads if they're not going to fight? But I'm glad I, I was patient with this chapter because the ending was beautiful. I don't know why, but seeing Sasuke say that Naruto was the closest thing that he's ever had to a best friend, that that really kind of changed my opinion about Sasuke. I mean, I'm not going to say I think he's going to turn good or he's going to stay evil or die or anything like that. It's just that when he left the village back in part one, he seemed like, I mean, it was obvious he had some feelings for Naruto, but to actually hear him say that Naruto is the closest thing to him, and he's the only thing that he has to kill to to uh, finish the past being destroyed, that speaks volume. So all this time, Sasuke has still acknowledged, or he has still recognized Naruto as a best friend in his heart. Otherwise, he wouldn't try to kill him. So this is a fucked up friendship, and I like the comparison, the side-by-side -side comparison from Naruto and Sasuke's answer, when Naruto said, we're going to be best friends again, Hagoromo, just you wait on it. And then Sasuke saying, I'm going to kill this Uzumaki fuck. I'm not going to lie, I was going to bash the shit out of this chapter, because all we got last chapter was dialogue, and it seemed like, this chapter was about to be the same, but the last two pages just changed my mind completely. They are the only pages worth reading, in my opinion, besides Hagoromo just saying that we're all useless now. Because everything that Sasuke said, we've heard before. I mean, his explanation of Hokage really wasn't that interesting to me. It might be to you, but it really wasn't to me because, I mean, ever since he said he wanted to kill the Kage and the Tail Beast, it's completely obvious what his motives were. I don't think that he had to go the length of to uh, actually explain to us what he was trying to do. He already said he wanted a revolution, he wants to erase the past, and he wants to start anew. Now, let's talk about if Sasuke is actually right about this. In my opinion, he is, but he's going about it the wrong way, like completely the wrong way. He shouldn't be trying to kill the Kage and the Beast. I can understand why he wants this because Throughout history, the Kages and the Beasts have always been fucking shit up, or the Kages have been making the Beasts fuck shit up, and he wants everything to be cool, you know, no more war, no more brothers having to die for their brothers and shit like that. So I can understand, I really understand where he's coming from, but he's like Pain, Madara, every other villain or anti-hero, whatever the hell you want to call Sasuke. He wants peace, but he's going about it in a fucked up way. So the question is, can Naruto knock some sense to him? Or will he have to kill him? Because Sasuke said that I'm going to kill you. I will put an end to you because you're the last thing in my way before the past is erased. Then I can start all over. So at this point, like I said in my previous review or predictions, whatever the fuck it was, unless Naruto can bring back Itachi, his mom, dad, and the entire Uchiha clan, if for any reason Naruto was able to persuade Sasuke to be a good guy. I'll call bullshit because this chapter just shows that uh, Sasuke's determination to kill 
Naruto is like absolute. Like he went up to the god of Shinobi and said, if you give me this power, I'm telling you, I'm going to fucking kill that dude. So if he is persuaded by a talk no jutsu, that would just be bullshit. That's really all I have to say about this chapter. The first half really wasn't that interesting to me. I, you know, I mean, if, if it is to you, you know, kudos to you, but I'm just, I'm bringing you my honest opinion. The last half or the last few pages, when we finally got them clashing and seeing Sasuke's answer was the highlight to me. It's the highlight of Naruto this week, period, because even though today's episode was awesome with that new opening and ending and everything in it, just seeing Sasuke say that Naruto is still his best friend or closest thing that he has to his best friend, it's, it's really impactful and it means a lot more than people are giving it credit because this is Sasuke we're talking about. The same person that left Naruto still calling him his best friend. So Naruto and Sasuke have the same feelings towards each other, kind of, sort of. But Sasuke is just bipolar. Tell me what you guys thought about this chapter. This is Mijewa the Chiha. We're finally going to get a fight next chapter. If we get Naruto talking to Sasuke while they're fighting, that's going to be bullshit. I want to see jutsus. I want to see Nine Tails cloaks, Renegon powers, Sage mode slash fucking Biju mode. I want to see everything, goddammit. Because these are the last few chapters we're going to get of this awesome series. So it might as well go out with a bang. But tell me what you guys think. This has been JB Chia. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.